Hi, I'm Nick Federoff. Today on Things Green, we have a very special program coming to you from the Ontario Convention Center, that's California, for what is called the Landscape Industry Show. Today we're going to be talking to the movers and shakers that really make up the industry. Not only do they put the show together, but they also are involved with the association. So join me right now here on Things Green. Things Green is brought to you in part by Super Thrive, the original vitamin solution. 50 vitamins and nutrients. Vitamins for trees, plants, and lawns. More information at superthrive.com. Southland Sod Farms, creators of genuine marathon sod. Pre-grown, tall fescue grass. More information at sod. Dot com. Dram Garden Products, makers of watering tools since the 1940s. Committed to saving water with handheld tools, hoses, and water wands. More information at dram.com. With continued support from Coal Tomato Cages, planting, growing, and harvesting. More information at coalmetals.com. And by the Radisson Hotel Whittier. With newly renovated rooms and an on site bistro restaurant. More information at radisson.com. And by the State Farm Youth Advisory Board. Supporting school based, youth led service learning projects. I don't care what you say here, Steve. I'm looking pretty handsome in this thing, don't you think there? Yeah, not a bad looking guy. <laughs> well, you know, it's really interesting. We're here at the Landscape Industry Show. And here at the Landscape Industry Show, uh, there's it, a really interesting dynamic that is happening over here. Number one, as a consumer, you're not invited to come, but don't take it personally, <laughs> right? right? Because it's all about the professional. And there's a lot of things that are happening in the world of landscaping and being a landscape contractor and all of that, that that has so many just fun things that are going on, like the fact that this environmentalism aspect is really starting to become pretty important to consumers as well as you as a landscaper. Absolutely. Uh, conservation has always been important to the contractor, but it's becoming more prevalent to the consumer. They're more aware of it now. So it is very important. Water, uh, drought tolerant plant material, uh, good soil preparation, and it's all here at the show. And the show that we're at here, of course, is called the Landscape Industry Show. I've had the opportunity to be a part of the show one way or another over the last <laughs> years. <laughs> I was an announcer for this show one time, irritated everybody the whole two days. It was a lot of fun, by the way. <clears throat> but um, as a, now you're a landscape contractor yourself. Yes, I am. And as a landscape contractor, you uh, uh, have decided to become a part of the actual association itself because there was a need. Absolutely. Uh, a need for the association and a need for me. It, it works both ways. I've received great amounts of information from the association and it's my chance to give back and also learn more as being a leader. So as a leader, I mean, it's really kind of interesting because when you're walking the house, halls over here, people are starting to bow down to you and stuff like that. So that's kind of cool being the, the El Presidente pretty soon, huh? Yeah. Well, it, it, it has its good parts <laughs> and its bad parts, I'm sure. But uh, oh, I, also, I also saw you emptying the trash, so, yeah. you know. <laughs> right. We, we do all jobs here. We're not uh, anything special, just another member of the association that's here to help lead the association to a good direction. And there's so much volunteerism going on, isn't there? Absolutely. Uh, the majority majority of our members are volunteers. We have a few paid staff, but all this is done with uh, volunteerism from uh, contractors, suppliers, 
uh, people in education. It's a great group. And that's one of the things we're going to be able to find out about today is some of these uh, different nuances that chances are you've not even known about because when you have somebody who's involved and really wants to learn and they're learning for you the consumer and that's what's important. Yeah, to find a contractor that's really interested in bettering themselves for the uh, industry, for you the consumer, and that's what it's all about. That's what the CLCA is all about, that we want to make sure our contractors are professionally trained, that they're experts on the latest uh, equipment that's out there, the latest techniques, and that benefits the consumer. Now, the association itself, is this something that anybody can join or do you have to have certain requirements? Well, the, a regular member has to be a licensed landscape contractor. A C27. Exactly, okay. exactly. You got to pass the state exam, you got to show financial uh, independence, uh, that you know what you're doing. And uh, the, it's, we're licensed by the state of California. Okay, so the, once you have all of that type of criteria met, then you could jump on the bandwagon and start getting involved. Absolutely, we'd love to have you as a member. If you're a licensed contractor, you'll be in, in group, you'll be learning and bettering your company. So if someone's a licensed contractor and wants to take over your job, are you willing just to give it up that quickly? <laughs> no, I mean, I like competition, but uh, I'm going to fight for my project. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, good for you. I'm really looking forward to uh, meeting the other folks that are around here that have actually put the show together and they uh, uh, are able to speak and to uh, uh, be a part of the association, meet everybody. Do you know, know how, many, how many contractors are, in, are in part of the association in the first place? We've got uh, currently, I think it's uh, somewhere between six and eight hundred, okay. and then we have a, you know, a, a lot of other people that are also members that aren't contractors. Okay, like educators. A, educators, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So that's really important too because the uh, you can get the when you mentioned about the education and get the educators, you have continuing education, you have things that make yourself better, and that's really about what the association's all about, and that's one of the reasons why you put these shows on. Absolutely. This is a great show. It's a, a place where you can do a one-stop shopping. Uh, all the materials, tractors, equipment, plant material, irrigation supplies, insurance, everything that you need is all here under one roof. Well, I appreciate you visiting uh, with us uh, right now. So if you need something to read, here, here you go right there. You can go ahead and take that. Yeah, I so. think I recognize that. Guy. Yeah, <laughs> I appreciate that. So here we are at the Landscape Industry Show, and uh, it is for the people who are in the trade itself. And like Steve said, you know, if you're an educator or maybe you're in school, I, I know we have school kids that come out and such. And the the important thing about, or one of the important things that, that they're doing over here is that we're connecting. And connecting is so important and you guys, again, have a pulse on what's going on, don't you? Yeah, it's uh, quite amazing what kind of org organization CLCA is. Yeah, okay. It's like, it becomes your family in a way. Yeah, no, I can see that. I can see that. There's a lot of group huddling and cuddling in the back going on over there. That's actually kind of a cool thing. But you, young lady, you actually kind of run this place, don't you? Today I do. Today you do. Let's <laughs> hope they'll have me back again tomorrow. Uh, how, how, many, how many vendors are you dealing with over here? I believe we have approximately 230 or so. And that's a lot of personalities to work with, isn't it? Yeah, they're yeah. all great too. <laughs> they're all great. Yeah, oh, wonderful. Really <laughs> <laughs> well, good for you. Well, you know what? Um, we have all these different things that are going on here. And I really would like to talk about the industry-related educational events and seminars that are, uh, that are offered by the chapters. What do you mean chapters? Well, the CLCA is a state organization, but also comprises of about 17 different local chapters throughout the state. And each chapter has its own board, and they kind of uh, design and develop their own educational needs per their chapter needs. Okay, so, so we have this, we've got this big old state that looks like a boot. Right. And within that boot, we have a bunch of little sections. A bunch of little sections. And those sections are governed by bylaws by that, the, okay. that, the, that the state chapter produces. And then each chapter has some freedom to, to uh, develop their own personality and based on their makeup and, and the, their members and their chapter members. Okay. So what kind of educational things are we going to be learning over here, having, having on? Do we, do we know what kind of classes? I believe are there? we have a variety of different classes. Um, to be honest with you, I work mainly in the showroom here where oh. the convention is. 
and I'm not quite sure exactly how many. I think we have about 20 classes a that are offered. a bunch of them, I know that much. And most of them, I believe, you get CCNRs, you get credits through mm -hmm. your education system. Whoa, 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 CCRs? That's a continuing, what is that, continuing? Ed no, education. Ed yeah. Continuing yeah. education. C U units. Oh, C -U units. units. I'm sorry. Yeah, C -U units. Continuing education okay. units. Okay, so yes. those actually go toward your licensing and right. your continuing education. Correct. And you know, that's really important to understand because there's a lot of these organizations, there's a lot of these um, licensed organizations in particular, whether you're, you have your pesticide applicators license, contracting license, or just general contractors license, there are typically a certain amount of these credits or these unions. In fact, even attorneys and things like that, there's all kinds of them licensed. They have to get these continuing education mm -hmm. units. Yeah. So that's actually kind of a neat thing. So when we're connecting with people, um, here we have job board for finding knowledgeable staff. What, what, what kind of staff are we, are we, are we looking for? What, what would that include? Just uh, the people within your company, maybe it's a, an estimator or a project manager that, that a landscaper may be looking for. They have an open position and... Uh, oh, a, oh that's a really a job board. Right. No kidding. All right, here, I want to get a job because this, is, job. this isn't working out for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so not only are we giving the education for the classes, if your company needed some help, you would post on something like that? Not my company because I'm an uh, insurance broker. I'm a supplier. Oh, okay. But uh, it gives us an opportunity to meet and, and help the young contractors understand uh, insurance, which is a huge part of their business in the long run. Okay. Now, when we're talking about the attendees that come here, I really loved what you just said about the fact that they're that they're young contractors. Do we see a lot of young contractors coming through here? Actually, we see young and we see old. We've got a huge variety that's mm -hmm. within this association, and. Uh, we see municipalities, the, the workers from the municipalities come in, which is huge because they're able to see all the latest and greatest and new uh, technologies that, for example, Ewing Irrigation provides, uh, Rainbird, Irritrol, Hunter, FX Luminaire, um, the Imperial Sprinkler, all these different companies will bring all their latest and greatest items to the show and make them available for us to look at them, touch them, feel them, smell them, see if it's something that will help us within our business. And that, and that all falls into the connect aspect mm -hmm. of right. that. Oh, I really like that. And then continuing on with the fact of connecting, and we kind of alluded about it, alluded about it a little bit earlier, um, learning is so important. And if you guys can come a little closer, please, so we can kind of kind of get you in here. So learning is really important, accessing the, uh, to access the information and resources. What kind, of, what kind of information and resources are we talking about? We offer a couple different programs. We have our certification program, which is our certified um, water management manager landscape program. We've offered that. And we also have our landscape certified, um, landscape industry certified program. There's a couple different hands-on programs we offer. Um, Okay. Now, are these classes that are above and beyond what a typical licensing would give you? Yeah. These are actually, um, this, the Landscape Industry Certification Test is an infield test. It's a two-day test um, where the participant actually has to take a uh, hands-on demonstration of, of knowledge to plant a tree, to put an irrigation system plant identification, that sort of thing. So it's more of an in-field um, industry, internal industry test to test the professionalism of an individual participant. So I'm getting here that here I go through the struggles, if you want to call it that, of learning to become a, a landscape contractor. Uh, I've, I've, I've taken the test. I'm sure there's a, a law test and there's a practical test of the, in the writing and all that and, 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 and such. So if I want to even make my business that much better, I can then come apart and become about this this water management cert program and also the this one as well. Correct. Yeah, because it's it's kind of like when you go to college and they, you, you graduate and you but you didn't learn any real world experiences that you know, hands on, but you've got the background knowledge that you were supposed to have. That's kind of the state license. They want to know that you have the background knowledge and the wherewithal to, to be successful doing that. But the certification program actually takes you through the process of 
doing the application of the project itself. That's almost like getting a, a landscape architect and, and getting their hands dirty. Yes. You know, you, you're kind of taking that, you know, because a lot of times, a lot of times the, the architect doesn't do that. They have the head knowledge, they know the slopes and the topography, they know that the irrigation should go on the ground. But if they had this kind of, uh, uh, this water management cert program, they can actually do that kind of stuff. How cool is that? Very cool. <clears throat> yeah. Do you, would you get your hands dirty? Is that something you would want Possibly. to do? Possibly. Yeah. Now, do you have to be, do you, now do you have to be a landscape contractor licensed to get something like this? No. No, actually, um, I wasn't, when I was certified a long time ago, um, I was not a, a licensed contractor at the time. Wait a minute. Now you're telling me that because not everybody is a business person where they can necessarily go through the steps and become a landscape con a licensed landscape contractor. That's important because there's a lot of phony balonies out there that we don't want to be associated with. Right. Okay, so we can do that, and then so like we can get a license if we wanted to. We can, I mean, we can get a cer certification. I should certification. say certification. Yeah, they're, they're completely separate things. So kind yeah. Of so right. now I become more valuable to you as a landscape contractor, to you as a landscape contractor, so that we can do these kind of things and make the industry that much better. Yes. You're right. Yeah. It helps with the professionalism of the individual employees within. Like if I, I my company, I would have certified employees that went through the program, so they're just as you know, it, it shows their knowledge and abilities to be able to perform all the tasks that are needed to successfully put a landscape in. And then the chances are we're probably going to get paid a little bit better because we have yes. that extra knowledge. Absolutely. Wow. So you guys are all apart putting this whole thing together as well. Yes. Very exciting. Well, I wish you much success with that. I'm yeah. so looking forward to what we're going to be doing in a few minutes because in a few minutes we're going to be taking actually we're going to we're going to be taking this this ribbon right over here and we're going to be cutting it. We're going to be opening the show. I'm very excited about that because I've never done anything like that before. But one thing that you guys have done is that you really have helped everybody grow over here. And that grow process is extremely important. What are the kind of things that you, have you seen through, through your tenure so far in this, with the growth aspect? The growth aspect has been phenomenal. We recognize that a few years ago, property owners, whether you were a commercial or a homeowner, you didn't have access, and with the economic downturn, you didn't even have the funding to do those landscape projects you wanted to do. Now that things have gotten better, a lot of our landscape contractor members, business has increased, their business has grown, and part of it is really for us as an association, helping connect those property owners with our members who are licensed, and many times, like you talked about earlier, certified, qualified, bonded, insured landscape professionals that can help your viewership, whether you're a homeowner or a commercial property owner, connect them with our members. And you can do that really easily, Nick, at our website, clca.org. Click on our consumer section. We have a find a contractor search engine. You can find a contractor in a particular zone, or if you're looking to do a special project, maybe an irrigation overhaul to save water with the drought that we're still experiencing. Maybe you want to do something really cool with walls and concrete. You can even click on specialties and it'll connect you with many of our members who do exactly that in your own community. Wow. I'm excited. I want to do that. <laughs> Later, Nick, you and I will go on the computer. We'll connect you right up. And we'll even, if you'd like, we can provide a link for your website that can take people right to that search engine and make it super easy. Yeah, we can do that. As a matter of fact, one of the things that uh, I do on my radio show, you know, this, this television show is, is watched on several different TV stations. I'm on radio stations all across the United States. And, and whenever I have somebody call in from... Uh, California, the first place, because they always ask me, where do I get a contractor? Yeah. Yeah. And what better place than go, going to going to clca.org, boom, you're, you're there and you could find somebody in your area. And it's usually, usually just as simple as putting in your, your zip code. Yeah, or yeah. you click the community or the county that you're a part of. And the best part is, unlike going to some more of the unscrupulous places like Craigslist, you know you're getting somebody that's licensed, bonded, insured, and in many instances has certified landscape technicians or certified water managers. You're not worrying about the status of your project and the professionalism. And furthermore, the education. The same folks that are on that website who are our members are also here at this show constantly improving their knowledge to help you as a property owner. 
And that doesn't mean that Craigslist doesn't have actual good contractors on there. She's really talking about the people who are not licensed. And I would imagine you've run yes. across that. That's right. Yeah, I, yeah I am a brand new uh, landscape contractor. Hey. I started about two and a half years ago. Wow. And being a member of a CLCA has really helped me tremendously to grow my business, learn all the things that I was not privy or aware of as far as running your own business. And that has been a superb uh, experience. So, you know, and, and I think that's really kind of an interesting thing because owning your own business uh, isn't for the faint of heart, no, is it? No, long yeah. hours, but you have to really have the passion. And, really it's, love it. and it's rewarding, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. It's been very rewarding. Yeah, that's the best part yeah. about when you, yeah. when you have that and you're working with all these wonderful people yeah. over here. Yeah. Uh, you, you, and you have that support group. I think that's what's really cool about the whole thing as well. And as a young business right. owner, yes. Yes. And you know, we mentioned about young earlier. Yes. Uh, I, you know, I, I, didn't, yeah. I, I, I did right. not allude to the fact that, that you know, you're 20 years old yeah. and you got your license. Yeah. It's however old you are to get into it. And that's really it, kind of neat. It's really exactly that. Yeah. Some folks mm -hmm. come into the landscape contracting trade as a second or third career. So young for us isn't your age, it's where you are in the industry. You may be an emerging professional who got your license at 35 or 40. And we have programs within CLCA that are specifically designed to help those new landscape contractors, again, to connect, to learn, and to grow their business. Ooh, did you see the way she tied that in? Right, see the, the connect, the learn, the grow. <laughs> Oh man, that's yeah. exciting! And then, and then, uh, as a young as a young business, young big business, old landscaper. <laughs> I've been doing, yes, I've been doing landscaping for 35 years, uh -huh. so I know all the facets of the landscape. Okay. But the business aspect, that's where I lack. That's where CLCA comes from, and they help oh. me with that. Oh, yeah. how fun is that? So you have those extra tools then for them? Absolutely, because once our members, they pass the C27 license exam with the state licensing board, that's the beginning of their journey. That mm -hmm. Then you augment that with continuing education mm -hmm. so you're up to date on whether it's new plants, new materials, new irrigation, new techniques. But for the business owner part, that's where we find a lot of these emerging contractors need help, whether it's with human resource issues, financial and budgeting, cost estimates, estimating and sometimes legal issues as well looking at their contracts making sure that they are compliant with California law nobody has hundreds and hundreds of dollars to hire attorneys to write those for them so we have it for them that they can use through all facets of their business thus freeing them up to be able to work on your projects Nice, I like that. Well, talking about uh, working on projects, we have a very important thing that we're going to do right now. So, uh, can I excuse you guys to get in place so we can do that? Absolutely. Thank you so much. We need. Uh, okay, so we're learning a lot over here that uh, that there's these associations, i.e., the California Landscape Contractors Association, and what they do is that they uh, put on these events, i.e., the Landscape Industry Show, and it's not for uh, typically anybody that's not in the business. So if you're a school person, someone who's going to school, you're an educator, you can get that kind of permission to come in. But if you are a, uh, a gardener, for instance, you don't have a license, uh, you're somebody who's toiling with the idea, or you really want to get more information, again, you get approved to come in to do something like this. And of course, if you're a landscape contractor, man, you come down here. And that's actually one of the reasons why I've been involved in this business for my whole career. And because you meet really nice people like this. If I break out in a tear right now, guys, all right, just kind of, you, you know, kind of take over. Oh yeah, 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 I might need, I might need a hug over here. Okay, so before we get to, before we get to uh, take and and cut the ribbon, open the show, let the hordes of people through, uh, let's give everybody. Please tell us what your name is, all at the same time. <laughs> tell us your name and company name. Steve Jacobs, Nature Designs Landscaping. Bill Debel, CLCA Insurance Solutions. Julio Lopez, Calder Landscape. Elizabeth Burns, Zone 24 Landscaping. And a barber on top of that. Did you see that? <laughs> Andrew, <laughs> Andrew Baker, Ewing Irrigation. Michelle Barnett, CLCA. Brad Fowles, Fowles Pools and Landscapes. Sandra Jardy, and I'm the CLCA Executive Director. Wow, what a group we have over here. So if you have the opportunity to come on down here, we really want you, even though it might be a beautiful day, still get down here. You're going to get more information and ideas than you will ever know what to do with. Now, are these uh, scissors nice and sharp over here? 
Uh, we're going to see what's going to him. So. Look, and these are the real deer. Here, pick them up over here. Look at look at, look at Well, they don't open them quite yet. Look at, look at. These are the real deal. You don't get any better than this. And we're going to hopefully we'll be able to cut it at the same time. Where do we where do we cut this thing at? I guess everybody touches this. Is that how that works? Yeah, Isn't everybody? Okay, every, everybody okay. hold everybody hold it over here. Here we go. Okay, we're going to hold it. Uh, yeah, I, I promise I will. So we're going to take here this. Here we go. In. 2016 Landscape Industry Show. Oh, yes, very good. Thank you very much. I think she gave me an apodectomy at the same time. Was that awesome or what? Well, with that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for being a part of this very special show that we have uh, and that we brought you over here. I wish you all the much success with the show and in your business. And thank you for sharing your knowledge with our audience, to which I really hope that you take advantage of by going to clca.org for more information. Thank you very much. Give yourselves a hand. Thanks, Next time on Things Green, have we a program lined up for you or what? Your socks are going to get knocked off, so you better make sure that those shoes are tied on really tight. We're going to be tailgating with the pros here at the Landscape Industry Show. This is the place to be for landscapers and technicians and educators. We're going to give you an inside look at how the industry operates right here next time on Things Green. Things Green is brought to you in part by Super Thrive, the original vitamin solution, 50 vitamins and nutrients, Vitamins for trees, plants, and lawns. More information at superthrive.com. Southland Sod Farms, creators of genuine marathon sod. Pre-grown, tall fescue grass. More information at sod.com. Dram Garden Products, makers of watering tools since the 1940s. Committed to saving water with handheld tools, hoses, and water wands. More information at dram.com. With continued support from Coal Tomato Cages. Planting, growing, and harvesting. More information at coalmetals.com. And by the Radisson Hotel Whittier. With newly renovated rooms and an on-site bistro restaurant. More information at Radisson.com. And by the State Farm Youth Advisory Board, supporting school-based, youth-led service learning projects.